So the Mountaineers go down to defeat. Virginia Tech after that disappointment last week at home, missing a last second field goal that cost them a loss. First and 10 for the Wolverines of Michigan, dancing forward up across the 40 and finally shoved out of bounds. That is Michael Hart again, the true freshman. Nobody deep for IU, not one safety five yards deep. Crossing pattern has a receiver at the 40, hits him, stays on his feet and just almost gets away. That is Jason Avant, the junior wide receiver. So now he kind of says, all right, I belong. Back to pass again, looks upfield, has a receiver behind the defender. Touchdown, Michigan. A 40-yard completion to Jermaine Gonzalez, a fifth-year senior out of Pontiac. And what a nice Wolverines story. On the board. What a nice story for uh, 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 Gonzalez. Watch the stutter, about 12 yards down, kind of breaks down, that does it against the man-to-man, -man, runs right by Larkins that time in this deep ball. And, you know, we talked to the Michigan coaches about Chad Henney. He said he's got a great, strong arm. And as you look once again at a 40-yard completion, the true freshman hitting to Gonzalez, and that puts the Wolverines on the board, 7-zip early here in Bloomington. Indiana is yet to convert, convert, as you saw a moment ago, on third down today. Third and four. Line of scrimmage, and lots of pressure, and Lavecchio will go down. Lawrence Reed, the senior linebacker out of Pickerington, Ohio, will slam Lavecchio to the ground back at about the 37. Yeah, that puts him out of field goal range again. And this Michigan's uh, opening possession here in the second quarter. And he will fake the handoff, take it himself, and rifles it upfield to Edwards, who will scamper up to about the 35. In Michigan State, so far Michigan has not been clean running the ball. And he will try to, to shift it out to Hart on the screen. Side steps the tackler, has one man to beat upfield, and a great effort upfield by Buster Larkins, the cornerback, to fend off the blocker and make the touchdown saving set. Well, this crowd coming to life here at Memorial Stadium, trying to get their Hoosiers to stop them on third and 15. Handy back to pass, has a receiver upfield. It's Edwards, and he will be out of bounds with a great catch right at the first down mark. I'll tell you, that's a great throw right there. Michigan's in with two tight ends and a fullback. They're five to one run here. Let's see if they do bootleg or something different off of this formation. Got a motion by the tight end. Henny looking to throw it upfield. And has the receiver out of bounds at about the three-yard line. Yeah, how about that? Both teams, Tim Massacoy. Massacoy, the senior out of Allentown, Pennsylvania, sets up a first and goal for the Wolverines. Fumble, and Indiana's going to jump on it as Michigan will turn it over on the Indiana five-yard line. I'm going to put that one under cheap points, okay, because Michigan was going to score, and this is a cheap stop. Nothing Indiana does but fall on the ball. You can see it just dropped by the quarterback, kicked by Dudley, and all of a sudden Indiana has a turnover when they're thinking Michigan's going to score on first down here. That is the 11th turnover of the year for Michigan. Indiana takes over when we come back. Handled the ball, kept it as he came across on the road. We that'll set up a punting situation once again for Beattie. And he hits a mortar shot way up in the air, which drives back Hall to the 25. He will cut it back. Still on his feet. Uh oh, Hall has some running room, has one man to beat. 40, 35, 20, 15, and Leon Hall will take it to the house. When we talked to Jerry DiNardo, he said, you know what? We don't want to let Steve Breston beat us. Well, Steve Breston doesn't make the trip, but you know when you're at Michigan, you got about five Steve Prestons. And Leon Hall shows you that uh, one guy goes down and there's another guy, a highly recruited athlete like Leon Hall, to take his place. Take a look at some of the downfield blocking on the kicker. Watch Edwards just level beating. Wow. A 76-yard punt return by Leon Hall. Up to 14 points. They have played well here in the middle of the field. Third down and pressure again. Ball this comes fumble. out and the fumble downfield. Here is Kelly will pick it up. 15 and the Big Ten's leading tackler will be brought down at the 10-yard line. 
Boy, I'll tell you, that was a huge sack. Play action pass here. Full house backfield. They give it to Green Ellis, and he finds his way in the end zone. Now, definitively, it is a touchdown for Indiana. Well, Michigan had their chance, didn't they? And there's Grant Mason uh, waiting to return the kick, and Adrian Arrington also back there, the freshman wide receiver. Nice kick to the goal line. Across the 20, 25, there's Mason, cuts it back, has some running room. 35, 40, down to the 30-yard line, and it's a foot right to the end zone. 15, 10, and Mason will be brought down finally at about the three-yard line. A 97-yard return by Mason, the defensive back, and he had a 71-yarder early. I'll tell you, Jason Avon, the ball's going to be kicked down here, but Jason Avon, number eight, if I can find him, has a key block on this play. Pushes his guy right by the player. Right there is the block. Look at Jason Avon. Do that very well, and that springs Grant Mason down the thing, and then Grant Mason who had that interception for a touchdown a week ago for Iowa, and like you say, there are playmakers all over this Michigan football team. There we go. Look at all those guys right in the middle there. They're forcing Michigan to run the ball off tackle. Fourth down and goal. Can they get in? Hart will sidestep, and still no signal. Oh, now touchdown, Michigan. So Hart able to roll off the blockers and fall into the end zone. Well, it's not like they walked into the end zone here. Indiana, no movement from that Michigan line. Hart bounces it outside, gets stopped, and then his momentum takes him over, breaks the plane very clearly. You can see it. This game, they're not doing well enough on first down. Second and six, they will fake the inside handoff and didn't fake out the defensive player there, Lamar Woodley. The sophomore linebacker was standing right there in the face of Lavecchio for a loss of five. Now, been moved back to the linebacker. And the flanker screen diagnosed very quickly. Maybe about a half a yard at most game. Pretty good on third downs. This time he'll hand it off inside. And the freshman cuts it back. Has the first down up across the 25. And shoved out of bounds at the 28-yard line. The candidate, Moss there at center. Third and seven for the Wolverines. Back to pass. Henny, here comes some pressure. He gets it off wide open upfield as Edwards. 30, 25. Will they catch him from behind? No. Touchdown. Michigan. Hand to man coverage. It's a stutter to the outside. Indiana's blitzing. And this is a perfect throw from Chad Henny. You got him that wide open. Throw it high. Right on stride. Edwards makes the catch and sprints it into the end zone for a touchdown. What a play by Henny and Edwards. Third and long again, trying to uh, move deeper into Michigan territory. Levecchio has a receiver, almost overthrows Green Ellis, and he fumbles the football, and Michigan will get it at the Indiana 38. He's selling it soon anywhere, I don't think, but uh, they had a lot of fun out there in the Rose Bowl last year. And that pass is completed to Avant, Jason Avant, the junior out of Chicago. Defense in front has played awfully well, almost steps off sides. Pass uh, complete, and the flag comes in. And you might get a push off by Tyler Ecker that time, number 89. Last week, uh, Virginia Tech's uh, special teams let him down. They missed two field goals, and it cost him the victory. I guess to NC State today, they pick back up a long pass to Edwards. Touchdown, Michigan. Boy, they make it look easy. Well, here it is, one on one, out of the corner, looking inside. Braylon closes the gap. Now he finds the ball. Now watch, right here, he's covered. Okay, that's good technique. But Braylon will use his size to get around to the inside and adjust to the ball and catch it in his hands. Wow. That is such nice job by Once again, our final score here from Memorial Stadium is Michigan 35, Indiana 14. ABC Sports is online at ESPN.com. Search ABC Sports. Stay tuned for the Thrifty Car Rental Post Game Report after this from our ABC station. So long, everyone, from Bloomington, Indiana.